If you're looking for the best Stillwater flies, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Damselfly Nymph Stillwater Flies. The Damselfly Nymph is an amazing pattern to use over weed beds and along other aquatic vegetation. It imitates Damselfly larvae, and the key trigger points are the thin abdomen, the very sparse tail, and the thick head with those eyes made from monofilament. I find that this realistic imitation works much more effectively than the often over-tied cheap versions you buy from shops. If you'd like to learn how to tie your own, Watch our full time tutorial where I covered the step-by-step -step procedure. I think the key to this fly is the way it's finished. As you can see, it doesn't have a bulky body, so it won't push as much water when stripped fast. Damselfly larvae don't move fast at all. So I find this fly works most effectively when fish really slowly using a figure of eight retrieve or dead drift. The damselfly nymph also works very well in tandem with buzzers and bloodworms and trailing behind an attractor such as a blob or booby. Moving on to the next and number two with fly fishing beautiful booby. The booby has two foam eyes that give it an unusual action in the water. I love fishing the booby on a diffib, sinks five inches per second fly line, and I allow the line to sink for a good amount of time. Then, when I make a long strip, the fly actually dives downward and creates a vibration. The two foam eyes can actually be integrated within any kind of fly. For instance, one of my favorite booby patterns is a blob booby where I include these eyes on a standard blob. Another very effective rendition is combining a woolly bugger and a booby. The number three position is held by woolly bugger stillwater flies. The one fly that will be on everyone's best stillwater trout flies list is the woolly bugger. It's the best freshwater fly ever created, period. For stillwater applications, I tie them on hook sizes ranging from 12 to four. Each size will have a couple of variations in color added weight, and some even include booby foam eyes, the woolly bugger can be tied to resemble a natural food source, such as leeches, baitfish, or even dragonfly larvae. You can even tie it purely as an attractor with a lot of flash and fluorescent colors. Next at number four, we have slump, buster stillwater flies. If you need something with more meat than the woolly bugger, the slump buster is the way to go. It includes a zonker tail, an overbody wing, some flashy dubbing which could be seen as the belly of a baitfish and a thick zonker collar. It's the perfect example of a streamer pattern. I tie the slump buster mainly in olive, black, and brown, and I use it on either a floating or sinking fly line. If you're using a fast retrieve while using this fly, make sure to be soft on the set as the takes are usually quite hard and aggressive. The number five position is held by redneck buzzer midge fly. Let's tone things down slightly and look at a fly that's fished a lot slower, the buzzer. Buzzers imitate midge larvae, or chironomids, which is probably the most prolific food source in still waters or lakes. Although this is an imitative nymph pattern, you'll see that many examples of buzzer patterns out there include a lot of flashy material, which is done for a very specific reason. When midge larvae start their journey from the bottom of a still water, a chemical reaction under their exoskeleton generates tiny air bubbles to help them ascend upward where they'll hatch on the surface. This is the most vulnerable stage of the midge's life cycle. The flash included imitates these tiny air bubbles. I love fishing two or even three. Buzzers on a floating fly line with a 15 foot or longer leader. As you make the cast, take up all the slack so you're in contact with the flies. Now, allow them to drift dead with the wind and keep an eye on the end of your fly line. If it makes any movement at all, set the hook. The number six position is dominated by bloodworm larvae stillwater flies. In essence, the bloodworm larvae is actually a type of buzzer, but I included it in the list because I use it in a wider range of applications. The bloodworm larva fly works well if fished as set out in the buzzer section above, but it also works very effectively when used with slow fish streamers, such as a woolly bugger, popper roach, sometimes you'll find that the fish are switched onto anything red, then the bloodworm larvae works a treat. Finally, the number seven position is dominated by dial bah stillwater flies. The dial bah is an old school classic trout fly that's still one of my favorites. I have confidence in it, and it produces fish. Firstly, 
I've removed the jungle cock cheeks that the original pattern has, as the material is very expensive and hard to come by in South Africa. I've replaced the cheeks with various other materials, such as the fritz used on boobies and other flashy materials. I believe the fly's effectiveness actually comes from its understatedness, and it produces fish when all the flashy patterns seem to get ignored. That's all for today. We upload fishing product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.